Hello! For those of you who aren't following me on Instagram, I just got back from a massive trip to a magical place known as Asia. Specifically, I spent two nights in Singapore and eight nights in Thailand. I, I went a bit nuts with the shopping while I was there. <laughs> so much so that I've had to split all of my shopping haul stuff into two videos. So this one is a specific beauty haul. I will be also showing you at some point, hopefully very soon, everything I bought that isn't makeup because I got like clothes, hair accessories, prints, stickers, other miscellaneous cute things. So yeah, I will show you all of that at some point as well. But for now, this is the big beauty haul. <laughs> Going out there, I was looking for a specific eyeshadow palette that I'd seen on TikTok. There's a creator called Erica. I was trying desperately this evening for like an hour to find the video I originally saw about this eyeshadow palette. Couldn't find it. So um, here are some screenshots of other TikToks with it. <laughs> and um, I think her username is Erica Titus. But I knew that the eyeshadow brand I was looking for was Peri Para, which is a Korean brand. And they did have a lot of Peri Para stuff, both in Singapore and Thailand. So I did buy some other Peri Para things. I also bought from a few other brands while I was there. I only really went in knowing Peri Para, Etude House, and there's another one that I don't think I bought from. <laughs> so I wasn't, other than those, I wasn't really looking for anything in particular. I was just there to kind of pick up pick up anything I wanted. So yeah, there's a lot of brands that I'm gonna show you that I think maybe aren't sort of super popular. Maybe they are super popular. I don't really know because I just sort of went in blind, swatched things in the shops and then just decided to take them home with me if I like them. One thing I do wanna address before I get into this is that most of the stuff I have bought, it's not skincare, it's mostly playful things. So one thing I noticed when I was shopping is there is quite a big race issue i think with asian makeup brands it's not even just in like a lack of foundation shades it's not just saying oh well they don't cater to black people maybe it's because they're asian and they don't have many black people there it's not even that it's that they don't even cater to a lot of the darker skinned asians there when i was looking in the shops honestly the main foundations all of these brands were selling had either one or two shades and i bought shade two of one foundation and it's too light for me. There is a very weird desire for whiteness. As well, a lot of the skincare products have whitening in them. And it says like, it will say, you know, like a snail mucin is like quite a big thing in skincare at the minute. It will say like snail plus white, or it will say something plus white. And it will be in everything. It will be like just whitening creams. Everything is with like the goal of whiteness, which, is just very strange to me. So aside from that one foundation I bought, because I did want to try a cushion foundation, I have not bought any other complexion products. Everything is like a glitter or a blush or a lip product, something that everyone should be able to hopefully enjoy and not feel um, too excluded from by watching this video. On the flip side, there is so much to celebrate about Asian beauty. I was just blown away by how playful the products are. I've got a glitter on now. I don't know if you've noticed as I've been like moving and talking. I don't know, it's like brought me back to like what I loved about makeup in the first place and how expressive you can be. And what I love about all of these glitter things I've bought is that you can really kind of like play it down. Like this for me is like a subtle makeup look. And I've just casually got my like glitter on my cheeks. It's just nice that you can use these in a way that you can just adapt and it's like a, you can have like pretty makeup and then just add a little bit of touch of glitter and then you just feel magical. And I love that. So without further ado, let me show you what I bought. I've also been working on some cute new graphics. I hope you like them. Let me know in the comments what you think. You'll see. I've put the name of the makeup brand in the country where the brand is from. I thought, yay for flags. <laughs> I, I'm not good with flags of countries, like even in Europe, I'm not very good at flags. So I was like, this is nice for anyone who's like me and wants to learn a bit about the world <laughs> and see what flags belong to what countries. So let's get into it. So the two brands I bought the most from are Peri Pera and Holika Holika. Both of these are K-beauty brands. So let me show you that stuff first. Peri Pera. One of their more popular products at the minute are these ink velvet like lip tints. They're really, really beautiful. And what I love about them is you just basically take a little bit and it looks like a liquid lipstick. So in the West, I guess we would just like do this all over our lips. But what you're actually doing with the Asian style, I think, is you would dot a little bit like this and then you can kind of blot this over your lips and sheer it out a lot. So you're not wearing like a thick, 
heavy liquid lipstick, you're just wearing a little tint. And if you wanna build it up more, you build it up more. I think these are really nice um, as like a base color for your lip. If you wanna add a lip gloss on top, like a clear gloss, they're really, really pretty. I love these, so I got the color 27, which is Strawberry Nude. I got 19 which I can't read what that shade is. Elf Light Rose. I bought this one first, cause I'm like, you know, big pink energy, bright, bold. And then I tried it and I loved it, but I was like, I wish I had like more wearable shades of this. So then the next day I went and got these shades. So the first one I bought was 20, which is beautiful coral pink. This isn't really corally at all. It's like a hot pink to be honest. Absolutely beautiful, love these. And I got another one um, as a gift to give to my mum, which is just like a coral shade. They really had a, a big variety of these. They had more like red toned kind of things, more brown toned ones, lighter ones, darker ones. So I feel like this, you know, you're gonna find uh, dark skin friendly shades within the lip colors at the very least. Also Peripera, I did get this cushion foundation, which as I said before, not inclusive shade ranges at all. I think there were three shade ranges of this and this is number two. So if you haven't seen a cushion foundation before, it, it comes in this compact. It's very cool. You get a little cushion here and you just open this little thing, switch this to the side and then you can dab this in here and then apply. But uh, if I put some on my chin, I don't know if you can see or not, but this is a really light shade. It might just be blending into the makeup I've already got on, but uh, I'd probably be using this more as like a brightening kind of shade, like in the center of my face, rather than using this to do my whole foundation. I do like this product. It, something else really good about the foundations actually is that they all have like SPF 50, if not 30. But as I said before, some of them do have whitening in as well. So keep that in mind. I couldn't find the eyeshadow palette I was looking for from TikTok, like I said. So I have ordered it on Yes Style. <laughs> Even though I've just bought a whole thing, I've literally come back from Asia and just bought more online. But I did get this little pink palette from Peri Peri. It's called Pink Terrest. And you can see there's a mix of uh, mattes and shimmers in here. And then this shade is probably the closest to the one I was looking for from the other palette. And I'll just do a little swatch for you. The lightest touch and all this glitter comes off. Let me put this on my face. I think you can see that. But yeah, this is like really fine glitter. I don't know if it's showing up or not, but I really, really like it. It's one of those glitters that's like really fine. It's not like chunky glitter and it almost looks kind of glossy rather than like chunky glitter. I don't know how to explain it. I also was sort of thinking from what I'd read, the Asian beauty, the colors tend to be a little bit less pigmented in the eyeshadows. These aren't like, you know, Pat McGrath or Huda beauty level pigment, but they are still like quite pigmented. I did my makeup with these and I was pleasantly surprised with like the, the, the color payoff. But again, I am quite fair. So I don't know if this would really work on dark skin very well or not. Definitely the bolder shades like this and the glitters definitely, but like these kind of shades, I don't know how dark skin friendly these are. This is a very pretty palette. Also got this speedy skinny brow pencil from Peri Peri. I wanted to love this, but I just don't think it lasts very well. I got this kind of grey-ish colour because I want um, my hair eventually to go more ash toned rather than like a yellowy blonde so that's why I got this kind of colour um, brow pencil but yeah it just doesn't stay on very well. The nice thing is that it's double ended with like that's the pencil and then this has like a little spoolie so that's nice but um, it was quite cheap in fairness it's just probably like the one thing I've bought, tried and just been a bit meh about. I believe these have had a little moment on, ah, I believe these might have had a little moment on TikTok. These are the Sugar Twinkle Glitter Liners. And this is like truly like chunky glitter goodness, but they are stunning. Let me swatch for you. I found the pink one first and I was like, I wanna find somewhere that has the white one in stock and I didn't for a day or so. So I went and just bought this pink one in case I wouldn't find it, but then I did find this in the end. So that's the pink one and that's the white one. Just really beautiful. You can see the mix of kind of like the chunky glitter and the finer pieces in there. Really, really pretty. I will say though, a lot of these are advertised as like being 
safe for use around the eyes and I don't think they are. When there's chunky glitter pieces like this, I just worry about it. But I did try putting it around my eye and then the next day, it's either between this product or a different one that I'll show you, but the next day for like two or three days, I had a pain in this eye. It almost felt like bruised, like as in when I shut my eye, I just felt like there was a bit of pain there. So I, I don't know if I had an infection or anything. It didn't look infected, didn't look swollen, nothing like that. It just had like a weird pain in it for a few days. So I won't be risking putting these around my eye, like immediate eye again. I might be doing like a brow highlight with them. I'll definitely be putting them on my cheek like I've done today. But um, yeah, just a warning about that because they are like all of the glitter there is advertised as like for your eye. Yeah, just be careful. I haven't got it to hand, but I bought so much Peripera stuff that they gave me a free little uh, drawstring pouch, which is quite cute. Next up, Holika Holika. I got another eyeshadow palette, sort of similar, I guess, to the pink trust one. But what really sold me again was this like silvery color here. Another swatch. Can you see? Can you see? Can you see? This one here so stunning and then this i thought this was going to be like that annoying gel shadow you get in the huda beauty eyeshadow palettes sometimes but actually it's a really really pretty glitter i think you should be able to see that right like oh, you see it's like kind of like pink and silver toned just so gorgeous and obviously the mattes as well like i was using this one a lot and like on my brow bone and stuff really really like this it's all seashell themed as well so the boxes were just the packaging was insane, just so pretty, like all this like marbled kind of print on the boxes and stuff like that. Really, really loved this. This highlighter was also from the Seashell collection and came in a really pretty box. And I told myself I wasn't gonna buy highlighter, but I just got sold on this. Like the lady in the shop was kind of spotted that I was uh, having a moment with all the shopping and was like <laughs> talking me into buying stuff. <laughs> so pretty she talked me into this as i was going to the counter as well this is like a liquid shimmer eyeliner this one i will use near my eye just shake it a bit in case just like a nude glitter I'll tell you what years ago nyx had these similar to these but probably a little bit more pigmented and bright these similar style glitter liquid eyeliners and i would consistently do glitter liquid eyeliner here let me do it for you now i would do it like this here in the inner corner at the bottom. And I still do this sometimes, but I feel like all the brands that used to do these products have discontinued them. And then uh, in Asia, they're still doing all these products, which is perfect for me. You can see it's subtle, but it does make a difference. So yeah, really happy with this. I can't remember what this was called. Glitz Eyeliner, Naked Shell. Yeah, I think this was also the seashell collection thing they had, but yeah, subtle, but very, very pretty. Of course, I got more glitter liquid shadow. This isn't the last either that I'll be showing you. I'm running out of room to swatch. Let's start a new, oh no, let me do one here. See the tiny amount I've just put on my hand there. And then I'll just like magic, like actual fairy dust. So, so pretty. I don't know if it's even showing up, but this has like pink and gold kind of flecks going through it. Gorgeous. Look at my hand of glitters. <laughs> This is how I looked in the shop, but like less pretty. When I was in the shop, I was just swatching everywhere. It was really messy, but um, yeah, I'm keeping it pretty for you today. And then they gave me this free highlighter brush for buying so many things because it says Holika Holika on it. And I was skeptical, but this does actually put on highlighter quite well. Happy with that. Nice little freebie. There's a shop called Watson's, which I guess is like the equivalent to Boots. It was like a pharmacy. It had like some makeup, some body care and skin things. And they had a, like, they'd reduced all of this Tokidoki stuff. Any of you kawaii people will probably recognize Tokidoki. This was so cheap. I can't remember how much it was. I think it might've been 60 baht, which is like one pound 20 or something like that. And the box wasn't open. It was in a blue box and it just said sweet mini palette. And I think it might've said twinkle on it or like shimmer or glitter on it somewhere. So I was like, Oh yeah, it said Sweet Twinkle on the outside box. So I just thought, let me get this, let me try it. Um, and if I open it and the colors are terrible, I can just keep it and give it as a gift to somebody. But then I opened it and it's gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm keeping it for myself. Obviously you can see I'm drawn to the top two colors. Let me swatch this, you just touch again. It's one of those you touch it so lightly and so much color like pigment comes off. Uh, let me just add on top. This I have used on my eyes and I think it's been okay. Tiny, tiny tap and then just loads 
comes off. If I did this on my eye, you'd see what I mean. And then the rest are just really pretty shimmers. That's the pink one. What's that light gold? I don't know, even know where to swatch these. <laughs> you can see those two vertical swatches is what I've just done. So yeah, I was really happy with this for like almost a mystery palette basically that I bought um, and was so cheap. Some really, really gorgeous colors came out of this. I was shocked to know that this is an American brand and not like Japanese. It's just Japanese inspired. It's not actually a Japanese brand. I found this brand called Oddbo and I got these two. It says jelly eyeshadow. These are my second culprit for what I think caused my random eye pain. They're another liquid glitter. I don't know if I'm gonna get lucky and get a piece, but have star confetti in them. First of all, that's gorgeous, isn't it? As in like chunky, here, do you see that? Is that showing up? Has these actual bits of stars in them. So obviously, I don't think that's safe to have around your eye, but this is literally called eyeshadow. So I was putting it on my eye because I'm stupid and just should have ignored that. But I, th I think this is what caused my uh, eye pain. However, for the cheeks, stunning, gorgeous, so, so pretty. I haven't even opened this one yet, but can't wait to just use these all over my face. Something cool I noticed actually in some of the advertising for the glitter products, it would say like, obviously you can use the glitter as a highlight around your eye, but I disagree. But it also said, use them on your ear, use them on your collarbone, use them on your like arm. Insane, I love that. I love that we're just covering ourselves in glitter, like little pixies. There's a brand called For You Too and they had a really, really good offer on blushes. So I got four and I got um, an extra shade for a friend. They were buy one, get one free. So I couldn't pick between what I wanted. So I got these two shades, which are called Sweet Cheeks and Pink Lemonade. Obviously both just appeal to me, but the actual colors are really pretty. When you put it on, I think it's even more pink than it looks in the pan somehow, especially this one. And the third color I got for myself is called Nude Mauve. And the reason why I got this is because I think it's good, I'm using this almost as a blushy contour. I think it's good to have more of like a gray toned option if you're wanting to actually kind of carve out your cheekbones and actually contour your face and not just make it look pink and you know. So that's why I got this, but even putting this on, it looks a lot more pink than I expected but really, really like these, really good value, really good color payoff, really happy with them. Got another blush from this brand called Marie, or N Nari, or Nare, not too sure how you pronounce this, but I really had to exercise self-control and I was like, you're only allowed to buy one because you just bought three blushes. <laughs> Uh, this shade is called Enjoy Pink, Perfect Cheek Blush Matte. Again, really, really happy with this. Very similar kind of formula to the other ones. Just really good color payoff. Now, I haven't opened these yet, so they're a bit of a mystery. This is from a brand called Savannah Colors. In terms of where they're from, I think they're a mix of French and Thai, but I'm not too sure. This I saw and this just looked crazy, so I had to buy it. It says, easy to draw, the lying silkworm in one stroke. Dream Flash, Light Up Eye Makeup, 24 Hour, Shining Eye Highlighter Stick. And I bought this and I haven't had time to open it and swatch it yet, so let's do it now. This is color number two, Peach. I didn't even realize there were other colors of this. I just saw Lying Silkworm and thought, what on earth does that mean? Similar packaging to the Holoka Holoka one, but I think this might be pencil rather than gel. It is indeed. Where should we do this? Ooh. Oh, okay, I'm an idiot. I need to be gentle gentle with this. Okay, it's really, really creamy. It is like a silkworm. I'll be honest, look how bright that is. I like to use this. And the other one I bought is this waterproof and sweatproof eyes opener. <laughs> Let me try this again. Super black eyes opener eyeliner gel pen, waterproof and sweatproof. Cool black, natural color, smooth, soft and smooth touch. Silky, easy to draw one stroke into a line straight. I'm reading this backwards. Super black eyes opener <laughs> eyeliner. Open. There's so many like low key spelling grammar errors on a lot of the stuff that's been translated into English and it's just fun and I love it. Eyes opener. So I'm hoping this is a pen, but it's sounding like it might be a pencil. Yeah, it's another pencil. I don't really love pencil eyeliners, but I mean, it's creamy. You saw that. I think it says on the box it has a pencil sharpener somewhere. Yeah, sort of. That's that. This is an interesting product. This is a Jolly Sweet Lip Tint from Sassy. This is actually really, really thin. It goes on very thin. Oh, God, 
up such an area. You can see that looks really pigmented, but then as you shear it out, it goes really subtle. So you can build it up and then it just looks, again, this is like a nice base if you wanna add a gloss on top. If you want to do more um, and add more intensity, you've got that option. But yeah, just a nice product. Similarly, I got this, which I can't remember if I've even tried this yet, is another lip tint from Silky Girl, which is a Malaysian brand. And it says, my lips but better lip tint, MLBB. This is shade 10 Heather. I can't remember even why I bought this. we will just do a tiny little dot. My fingers are covered in things to try and blend these out. That's like, okay. <laughs> I need to work out how to use that because as you can see, it's just, kept the dot there and not really blended it out. Maybe it's like you put it on like a really thin layer and that's that, perhaps. Sticking with lips, I got this really, really nice lipstick from a brand called Cute Press. This is shade 02. I said what shade it was on the thing. Now I can't find it. I have a feeling the shade was called Baby Doll, but just a nice kind of day-to-day -day pink, nothing too out there. You see? It's just not so neon as like the lip tints that are next to it. It's a pretty standard kind of like satin lipstick formula. I have worn this and it's nice. More things I haven't even opened yet. I found on my last day, after I'd decided you've bought too much makeup, you're not buying anymore, I found these and I just had to have them. These are lip glosses from a brand called Charmis or Charmis. And I don't know if it's showing, a lot of glitter in here. This says, show me, show me, show me your love. And the shade is, make you mine. Is it showing up a bit better now, all that glitter? I sure hope so. There, I feel like you can see it there. There's just a lot. So I think, yeah, once these are actually on the lips, they're gonna be beautiful. Ooh, that's a nice consistency, isn't it? It's like, it smells like strawberries or cherries. It smells very sweet. Honestly, it's not as glittery as I thought it would be, but it's still really nice. It's like a very thin consistency. Yeah, you don't need a lot of this. It's very thin. Now it's time for probably my favorite brand I discovered, Coslux. I bought quite a few things from this. I've opened all of them except this. I kept this in the box just so I could show you how adorable this packaging is. All of the packaging is like this, just like really fun, colorful with like glitter and holographic bits on it. You can see the product like with little cutouts. It's just beautiful, so well thought out. This product is Wink to the Blink Blink Stardust Bunny. And I got two of these. So this is what, the white one is what I've got on my cheeks. This, look at that. This is like a neon pink glitter. If you look close up, there's like little stars and things in there. This is the other one. I've used it a number of times. You can probably tell. It looks like there's been slightly a bit of, a bit of a finger this one's had, though this one's obviously completely smooth because I've not used it yet, but adore these, absolutely adore. Well, this one is the only one I've tried, but really excited to use the pink one. I think on camera it's reading is quite red, whereas in person it's like a really kind of hot pink color. I also got this stunning glitter liquid liner. That's it there, that pink shiny one. I've used this a couple times. To be honest, over the day it does crack if you're doing like a glitter liner with this. So I think maybe it's better to like use it in spots or if you're wearing it like all day, I'd keep it in your bag with you. This is the Wink to the Blink Blink Liquid Sparkling Eyeliner in shade two Amethyst. They did a white one of these and a ruby one of these and another one, which I can't remember, maybe it was gold or something. I was gonna buy the white one and I was like, you've bought like a lot of white glitter products. <laughs> then finally from Coslux, I got this wig to the Blink Blink Glitter Shadow in number two Venus. And this doesn't necessarily look like one of my colors, I know, but trust me, again, tiniest little tap. Do that one so I can really touch it. Tiniest little tap, there's your product. And you see that? And then you blend a little bit more out and it just becomes like this beautiful pale gold. It's just insane, this product. I wish I bought more of these actually, is this one. Insane, insane. And then finally, Bangkok had a couple of Daiso stores, so I got a few cute little makeup accessories. I got these eyelashes, which I don't know if you can see, but they have colors in. So these are purple and these are black and pink. So I'm excited to try these. I don't know whether I'll do my own lashes with a lot of mascara on and then put these on top and blend them in or put these on top or in with like a strip lash like I've got on now. Don't know how I'm gonna use these yet, but 
really, really love them. Hello Kitty makeup brush washing matte thing. <laughs> this was really cheap, 60 baht. Swirl your makeup brushes around on it and all that. Now this is one of my favorite things I bought. This is the final item I have to show you, by the way. It said on the packet it was like 60 baht and I got to the till and it was only 20. So this would have been like 40p. It looks like a little poly pocket. Guess what it is? Two more seconds to guess what it is. Okay, let me show you. It's a travel case for your fake lashes. How perfect is that? Me, someone who has loose fake lashes everywhere. I need that. I should have bought two more of them actually. I have so many fake lashes just hanging around. I've literally gotten out of bed, got ready, left the house and then caught a glimpse of myself while I'm out and about and seeing I've had a fake eyelash stuck in my hair. <laughs> no, it's so disgusting, but that, that is like genuinely how many fake lashes I just have lying around everywhere. So I just feel like this is gonna transform my life. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed watching my beauty haul. Like I say, I've got all the other stuff still to show you. Here's a close up of all the swatches by the end of this. I just, I'm I'm so happy with like all of it and I can't wait to go back to Asia so I can do it all again. The K-Beauty products I know were on Yes Style. I do have a code you can use if you want to buy anything. I have put in an order at Yes Style so I will be following up with um, a few things that I bought from there. I do have a discount code. I have an affiliate link. I don't really do that ever. thought why not? If you're watching this video, if you've made it this far, you probably are interested in trying some of these yourself, right? I mean, look. <laughs> So um, if you're looking at any of the Peri Peri stuff, I think they might have Holika Holika as well. They probably have it on Yes Style. So have a look. I'll put a link in the description, which is my affiliate link. And then don't forget to use my code if you want a bit of extra money off as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you liked the makeup. I hope you liked the new graphics. It was so nice to just go through everything I bought and like reminisce <laughs> on my trip this way. And yeah, you will be seeing my face covered in glitter for quite some time. Thanks so much for watching. Best wishes and glittery kisses.